Hey. Friday, Friday. Couple cool dudes on a Friday. Friday, hey. Friday. Hey. Friday. Hey. hey. We're back, bro. Mm. You and I are back. We are back. We were out of town. We were gone. We were not at the Rec Tech Worldwide headquarters in Evans, Georgia. No, sir. We were, where were we at, Chef John? We were at the Kansas Speedway in Kansas City, Kansas. Beautiful Kansas City, Kansas. KCK? KCK. Not KC Mo? Not, no, we didn't even like that KC Mo. I don't know. It was pretty cool. It was a little cool. It was pretty cool, that restaurant. And then the um, fireworks extravaganza. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I have to give them that. That was fun. The security guard of that nice establishment said that those that firework display mm -hmm. was the largest and longest running concurrent display oh, wow. in all of the United States. Oh, I did not know that. And he said that uh, firework aficionados come every year just to do that one display in the middle of town. Wow. It's pretty cool. I didn't know any of that stuff. I didn't know it was historical. And I don't know if that security guard was telling me the truth or not. <laughs> Might have been that's a very, little inebriated at that point. very true. Well, guys, welcome to Fun Day Friday. We are back and so happy to be here. It's good to be we back. Got, yeah, we got a great show for you. But before we get started, you know what you guys have to do. We're going to give you three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it! it. it. Hit, it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah. For All those of right. you who don't know, that means smash the share button. They know. They watch. We really, really appreciate that. Loyal following. Yeah, and if right. you uh, have any questions, comments, hatred, or criticism, please put it in the comment section down below. Yeah. We really would appreciate mm -hmm. it. Now, Daniel, is this simulcasting this week? Oh, it was. Yeah. YouTube? Oh, we're also simulcasting on What's YouTube. Up, so YouTube? shout out all the YouTube uh, channel owners out That's there. Right. Follow Chef John's channel. Make sure you follow my channel as well. Uh, Chef John Pinnell, Barbecue Dad Jody, on all social media. All social media. That's it. Yeah. But uh, this week, it's getting chilly. It's getting a little cooler outside. Right? I had to go ahead and get the gas turned back on. You did? You I'm a gas seasonal back? gas owner. I okay. don't like to get it through the summer. They charge me like $30 a month to even just have it. Wow. So I get it cut off the warm months. So you're an electric You're an electric guy, then, a heater and stove? Uh, no, yeah, yeah. Everything but my downstairs uh, okay. heater. It's, okay. uh, it's gas. Okay, didn't know that. So I had to get the gas cut back on. I really would have liked to have turned it on this morning. It had a little Ooh, nip it was in my nip. home. There was a nip in the air this morning. I had my windows open last night. Cheese and crackers. Yeah, it was a little nipply. Man, I bet Me it was in your house. Cuddled up, cuddled up with smoke. You and that old cat, <laughs> well, I tell you. But it's getting cooler, so we wanted to give you guys a delicious, colder weather dish. Yeah. We're gonna be smoking up some chuck roast and mm. making a chuck roast chili. Let's go, baby. Shout out to the Yankee, what, Daniel? The Yankee, Yankee Cowboy. Cowboy. Giddy up. This is his recipe that we're using. Now, his called for uh, jalapenos. I'm right. not putting jalapenos in this. I do not want any heat. Right. So we're going to use poblano peppers instead, right, Jody? Well, it called for poblano peppers, but it also called for jalapenos as well. So ah. we just took out the jalapenos. Okay. If you want it spicy, Take put it about uh, three jalapenos in there. Yeah. Sure. That'll kick you right on up. But uh, I've had... Uh, some chuck roast already smoking. We're going to go ahead and prepare it how we want to smoke it, ladies and gentlemen. This is about a three-ish pound chuck roast. All we're going to do is we're going to cube this bad boy up in inch by inch pieces, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We're going to cover it in some seasoning. We're going to mix up some Ben's heifer dust and some Ray's Loco Gringo. That Ray's Loco Gringo is going to give this chili some amazing flavor. I am not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Jody, let me ask you this. This is kind of the same, this beginning process, kind of the right. same process you do for burnt ends, right? Yeah, yeah, essentially. But what, for me, I like to go ahead and, and and just smoke the whole thing without cubing it up uh, and then cube it up okay. and then get some more smoke okay. on it. So that, okay. you know, that's just my process. I like it. So essentially, we're just getting this bad boy in cubes um, that we can uh, easily season and easily smoke. Don't overthink it. Yeah. Now, uh, the Chuck Roast is known as the poor man's brisket. Yep. So you can cook this bad boy just like a brisket, low and slow, mm -hmm. um, and or hot and fast. It's going to be delicious. Wrap it. Yeah. And finish it off and it's going to be absolutely delicious it's got a really good beefiness to us yep. it, it's also very forgiving this uh, chuck roast is also a very forgiving uh cut of beef yeah. all right so we're going to take that raised loco gringo this one we're going to open up wide okay right mode. use that shoot you riot mode now speaking of riot mode today we're going to be cooking on the rtb 380 bullseye hottest pellet grill on the market shoot, yeah hottest Jody's going to be market. smoking those what did you smoke those on low jody yeah i smoked them on low for about two, uh, two and a half hours, um, they're at about 170-ish degrees. Don't ever think it, man. Just, yeah. get, just get it to where they got some good color on them, mm -hmm. some good smoke. They look pretty. 
And a lot of folks are like, what does that mean? Well, what looks pretty to yeah, you? Yeah, you want that you dark. You want that dark. Yeah. Brown. Mahogany. Mahogany. Yeah. So, John, we were at the Kansas City Speedway. Yes, sir. Representing Rec Tech at the American Royal. Yeah, we were. We did pretty good, right? We did fabulous, Jerry. We did amazing. I was really impressed with our turnout. Ended up 63rd. Over, 64th? 64, sorry. Out of 505. I'm, I'm always give us that little extra credit. Yeah, out of 500 and plus teams, Jerry. Cheese and crackers. 65. Um, I, I personally think, guys, uh, I have we have pictures that we will be posting later, so you get, definitely want to follow us on all of our social all media. All social, baby. But our brisket, I don't think, I know I've never cooked a better brisket than the one that we turned in. Yeah, we were proud of our food, for sure. Yeah, super proud we of it. We cooked our cook. Yeah. We didn't change anything We're up. Not. Nope. You know, we did what we do for uh, Rec Tech Academy. Yep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yep. Knocked out of the park. Yeah, 64. 64th out of 505. We represented Rec Tech well. Not bad. Um, we had Ram Benitez. We love Ram. Finish first. Yeah. Out of 505 using his RT590. Shout yep. out, Ram. Shout out to you, Ram. We love you, buddy. Uh, finished first in pork. Yep. Um, we had um, Jackie and Tim Milligan. Yep. With Team Chupacabra. I believe they finished seventh overall. Yeah. They've got an RT590 as well. They're just getting a uh, RT1250 to replace that bad boy. They said they wanted a little bit more space. I love it. Uh, shout out. Man, I can't. There's too many teams. Irwin's. Today. Irwin's Pit Crew. We love you guys. More Pig Barbecue. Yep. Texas Chrome Heroes. Yep. Uh, uh, Mississippi Meat Mafia Boys. Yep. They tore it up. Uh, uh, special shout out 50 Cal. Uh, yes. That, that barbecue sauce. I'm telling you guys, it's it's the truth. And uh, it, I think it really helped us with our brisket. We couldn't do what we did mm -hmm. without that 50 Cal. So we've been smoking this stuff Woo. for a good two hours. You're looking yeah. for a, a deep, dark mm. mahogany like that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That's what we're looking for. Mm. Look at that now right we there. just need to let this cool off just a little bit Looking good. before we start cutting it up, okay? So I'm just going to let it rest right here on our wire rack. Um, you could use that mesh cooking mat available at rectech.com. Totally mm -hmm. I just couldn't find any around the kitchen, <laughs> so I just grabbed that uh, wire rack really, really quickly. All right, well, while you're letting that cool, Jetty, let's right. come on over to my bullseye. Get on over there. I have it set to 450 degrees. Shoot you I got a cast enamel pan set right inside. So what we're going to do first is we're going to take a little bit of oil. Oh, yeah. Now, when you put oil in a cast, a cast in a pan that's been heating up, you want to go in immediately after with whatever you're going to put in there. A little chef tip. So we're going to put about two tablespoons of oil. We're going to immediately go in with our onion. And now that's uh, one to two uh, medium yellow onions right there. Then we're going to hit it with that poblano pepper. Deseated and diced. With. That's right. And we're just going to saute this up. Probably put these bad boys in there too. Oh, we got a little green diced chili. Green chili. And then we're just going to saute this up. Jetty's hit it with a little bit of garlic. No, nah, that's a lot of bit of garlic right there, <laughs> baby. I love garlic. A little garlic paste. Yep. Got to get that flavor, son. That's right. So we're going to let this saute until the onions become translucent, Here's which means sir. clear. And spooky season's coming up, so we got to make sure that none of those vampires get after us. That's Chef right. John. That's right. You so know that's that. why we're using lots of garlic. But guys, make sure you're following us on all social media. Make Especially sure Rectech. Yeah, make sure you're following Rectech. That's what I was going to say. And guys, go check out the website, please. We've done a whole bunch of updates. We're sure doing can. more as the days go by. If you haven't signed up to become an insider, go ahead and go do that right now. Go check out the website. Scroll to the bottom of any of those pages. And just type your email address. That's up. right. That's right. Sign up for the newsletter at Rectech.com. Uh, those folks that signed up last month, mm -hmm. you, you registered yourself to win a year's supply of pellets, sure ladies did. and gentlemen. Um, and that winner will be contacted soon. Yeah. Um, remember, we'll be giving something away at the end of the show. We'll be spinning that wheel of Rectech. Right. So make sure you stay tuned the entire show. Make sure you smash that share button. That's the first thing you at least got to do, right? You got to do that. And we'll tell you the other things you're going to have to do right after that. But we want to give a big shout out to Chef Greg. He shout is out. on his way to Lehigh with uh, Mr. Ben. Uh, they're going to be up there. I think he's teaching a class or just checking you guys out, making sure everything's straight in Lehigh. But if you guys see Chef Greg yep. and Ben at the airport, they love hugs. They, they love, love they pinches they on love, the booty. They love pictures. Make sure you take a picture with them. Yeah. Lots, of, lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. All right, I'm going to go back to this, start stirring this up. And I want to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an amazing sale and special going on at Rectech.com. It's $100 off the RT590. Funny, that RT590 just won number one pork in the world at the American Yeah, Royal, baby. At the World Series of Barbecue. That's pretty cool. That's uh, real cool. Seventh overall in the world with Miss Jackie and Tim Milligan mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Team Chupacabra. 
Um, but shout out to everybody that said hello, that stopped by the tent. Had a lot of Rectech family. A lot of Rectech family. Hello. Only half of that, John. Yeah. Um, a lot of Rectech family members come by and say hello. A lot of folks recognize Chef John. Not very many people recognize me, <laughs> which was really weird. <laughs> um, but uh, shout out to all of the Team Rectech yeah. uh, members. We saw a bunch of folks. We discovered a bunch of new folks. Yep. And then we saw a bunch of new, uh, met a bunch of in awesome possible new rec tech academy instructors yeah so that was another reason why we went out there is to hopefully find you guys some new blood um of rec tech academy instructor but uh, what was your fun oh yeah and then shout out to bullhorn barbecue for winning party, party of, of the, the year, year. <laughs> back to back to back to back the fourth year in a row yeah the first year that they didn't allow the party of the year to walk across the stage yeah, which was, was kind of weird weird so shout out to Rob Orocha and Bullhorn Barbecue. I yeah. believe he's going to be retiring. I think so. Competing in the party of the year because they didn't let us walk across the stage I this year. So. He but said, you know what? If they're not going to let us, no need to even try. Point? Yeah, what's he said point? it takes money to, to do the party of the year. He also told me, too, that he's saying five years running because of the, you know, the sickness. We, oh, that's right. Five, yeah, five, five years. years in a row. Five years in a row. A shout out to Bullhorn Barbecue yeah. out of Texas. We Rob Orocha, Diane Orocha. Yeah. The Orocha boys killed it. Killed it, Jody. Man. All right, so I put uh, about... Uh, well, exactly half of a uh, six ounce. Three cup, ounces. Three ounces of tomato paste. That's in half there. a six. And we're gonna let that cook too. You want that to mix in really good with the vegetables. That's gonna help thicken this chili right on up. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of seasoning, Jody, if you don't mind. Shoot ya, shoot ya. Get over in there, Daniel. Now this seasoning is available at rectech.com, R-E-C-T-E-Q.com. We're using the Ben's Heifer Dust and then the Ray's Loco Gringo. I like using the Ray's Loco Gringo, especially for chilies. Yeah. Um, tacos, salsas, Ooh, oh. and it doesn't have much salt in it. No, you know, so you're able to add it to a saltier rub uh, to kind of balance it out. Yeah, and uh, the other thing I love about um, all of our spices is that they are gluten free, man. Shoot, yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of people in Kansas a lot City of people say that that were like, uh, uh, you know, I would love to try your spice, but I have a gluten allergy. I was like, you know what? Well, these are spices for you. Give them a taste. Tell us what you think. But yeah, everybody in uh, Kansas City, Kansas, was super hospitable. Uh, the, uh, the volunteers there, we, yeah. uh, we couldn't have done what we did without yeah, the volunteers. Yeah, shout out to all of the volunteers yeah. and judges and uh, the news crews. Yeah. Man. We were on the news. We literally uh, got to speak with every local news organization in Kansas yeah. City, Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri. So shout out yeah. uh, to all of the news organizations for wanting to come by. Yeah, Chef fun. John and I just happened to be throwing on alligators yeah, and Yeah, he had such. some gators he threw on. It was you fun. Know. We had a good time. That was a, it was a great It drew week. people in. It really did. And it was a lot of work, but we were super, super excited to be there representing Rectech for sure. Yeah, blessed, hashtag blessed. blessed. Hashtag blessed. Get on in here, Daniel. All right. Again, we're cooking on that RTB380 bullseye from Rectech, the hottest pellet grill on the market. Yes, There's sir. only one piece of metal between the meat and the heat, so you get more of that direct fire That's action. Right. Now, Jody, will you go ahead and turn this up to riot mode? Shoot, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to add the liquid. So we're gonna crank that grill up so we can heat these things up. So I got one 28 ounce, ounce can of your favorite Oh, thank you, crushed Jamie. tomatoes. That's if right. you can find uh, the fire roasted, that's the one you should get. That's the one you should get. All right, and then we're going to go 32 ounces of chicken stock. Get that in there. Yum. Right? We're going to mix all this up. Looking good. We're going to hit, hit it with a lid. So easy. Yeah, this That's, is a super easy chili recipe, yeah. Rob. No beans, though. No, no. Get beans out of here, man. No beans. No Big beans. beans. And I, I mean, I do like uh, a chili with beans, but I don't think it's really chili at that point. It's something else. I'm not a. I'm not a fan of it. You're not. not a I'm you're not, not a fan. Not a fan of it. Of chili with beans, man. Not. Not the biggest fan. I'm, I may be a crazy maniac, um, but I'm not a huge fan. Because, okay. well, speaking of beans, though, Jody, we also entered the uh, ancillary competi competition at the Royal. And we did pretty good. We no, did we did good. great. Uh, the soup, we did so we uh, there is a vegetable category, there is a bean category, there is a uh, potato, potato category, mm -hmm. and there is a dessert category. Well, there's a sausage category too, but that's a whole other story. We didn't enter that category. We sponsored that category. We did spot. Didn't we want to win that huge one. Huge trophy we gave. It was really cool. Anyhow, so we did really well. Um, the beans, we did really well. Placed in the top 50. Yep. Um, uh, the vegetable, we placed in the top 50. Top 100. Top 100. Yep. Uh, the, the the potato we we didn't do so. We rolled good. the dice. Yeah, we didn't do so. We tried good. different. We did try a little something. We different. did potato soup. Mm -hmm. And it was delicious. I think our problem was it wasn't hot by the time it got to the judge. Probably didn't have enough texture. Yeah, maybe not. Enough. Well, I don't know. 
you know? I don't know. Because it, was, it wasn't hot. I don't know. But we brought it all home with the dessert um, out of what, 200 teams, Jody? 200 something. 200 plus teams. Yep. We came in 22nd. I know that doesn't sound great, but we got beat by 21 people who got perfect scores <laughs> of 100. That's right. 180. So my score, our score was 179.44. Yep. 21 people ahead of us got perfect, perfect 180s. 180s. Yeah. So if you're going to lose, I guess lose, it to, lose to the perfection. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's the way to go. Yeah. We, well, we saw a lot of a lot of folks wanted to put their hands on the grills. They were able to put their hands on, yeah. see it, feel it, touch it, talk to us, eat some food off of the grills. So it was definitely a success. Uh, a lot of folks ordered grills. Yeah. So that's all that matters. Yeah. You know, we got to meet a lot of the Rectech family members mm -hmm. that we haven't gotten to meet before. Um, and uh, break bread with them. Yeah, it was a good time. Great really, hospitality. It really was. And just being able to see a different part of the country uh, and how they do things out there was a lot of fun. Uh, shout out, special shout out to David Wright uh, yeah. for driving the dually and the Mamba. I'm sure a lot of you guys were probably out there and saw the Mamba driving cross country. Holland. Holland. Holland booty. Yeah, thank you, David Wright, so much. We couldn't have got there we without you. We wouldn't have done it without David yeah, Wright, we baby. We really could. You were a pivotal cog in the direct tech machine that week. Well, every week, but especially that week. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. All so right, Jody, you got this stuff hacked just, up, buddy. Now we're just cutting it up into small cubes. Now, again, it's, it's, it's fairly tender here, but we're going to let it go. You know, you could let it go 30, 45 yeah. minutes, yeah. an hour, two yeah. hours. This stuff, you can make it to where it falls apart. But for time's sake, we're going to go ahead and get it get it on for you guys. Yeah. Get it going. I like it. Again, okay, this, this one was about a three and a half to four pound chuck roast. And we just smoked. Mm. And we're cutting up in beautiful, delicious, even size cubes. I mean, it looks ready to eat right now. It really, really does. You know, it smells delicious. It's going to be the perfect dish for that next cold weather day, you guys. That's have. right. And it's uh, easy, you know. The yeah. kids can help you. It's something that you can put on and leave on for a little while. Yeah. While you're going and, you know, pick going to the pumpkin patch, going to the apple orchards. You, you know, what other things do people do in the fall? Uh, uh, carving pumpkins, make, know, oh, Christmas trees. Making a, what's, what's that nasty drink that you like to make, John? Uh, woosel, making yeah, woosel, yeah. wassel. Yeah. It was, it's delicious. It's not that good. It's your traditional drink. Yeah. He doesn't know good stuff. He doesn't know yeah, good I don't stuff. know anything good. Yeah. All right, come on over here, guys, with me. We're going to go ahead and drop this in. Drop a style. Man, that looks great already, Chef John. Yeah, you can already see it's starting to get hot. We got it up to riot mode. So inside, the meat's going to go. We're going to give it a couple tosses like this, and that's it, guys. We're going to just let this come up to a simmer and really just tenderize all that meat. We're going to be ready to go. That's it. Now, you're all, all you have to do is just wait till that meat is as tender as yeah. you would like it. That's Easy it. peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, today, you know, you can stop right there. You yeah. can put that stuff yeah. in a bowl and eat it. You know, it's chilly all day long. Delicious. Get some oyster crackers. Yep. Get some Ritz. Get you some... Um, um, Club crackers. Okay. That's my favorite to eat with chili. Club crackers? Right. You're not an oyster cracker fan? Ah, I don't know. I don't know. My stepmom and mom loved oyster crackers growing <laughs> up, and I just couldn't. I just, I just couldn't. I, I, I don't know what it was about it. Um, but we're going to make Frito pies. Yeah, tonight. baby. John's going to use free, the chili cheese Fritos. Yeah. I'm going to use the Cheetos. Yeah. And, and, and guys, if you've never put Fritos or Cheetos inside your chili, you're, you're missing not, out. You're not living your best life. Yes, no. So I like to give mine a little crush, right? Oh, you get a little crush, huh? Yeah. And then, Jody, I like to put my cheese on the bottom, see? Because mm. it melts. So you get a little bit on the bottom there. I'm going to give mine some crush too, big dog. There you go. I'm going to put a, fuck, a couple pinos in there. You've done this before, huh? Well, no, once or twice, you know. A salty dog. Mm. And this way, you, all you can do is start mixing from the bottom. You pull all this goodness to the top. Oh, is that what it's all that, about? That's what it's all about. Top it with a little bit of sour cream, mm. and we're good to go. A little bit of cilantro. That's my favorite. Is it your favorite? I love cilantro. Okay, I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much though for hanging out with us. Hey, we put let's put this stuff on top, big guy. Well, just give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. We okay, I thought you the, were. Man, no, I thought no, you I was were. Gonna, you were you were signing out, no, big guy. No, we still got. Well, thank you guys week. so much. <laughs> just, Cheese and crackers. I was just thanking the people for tuning okay, in. Okay, all right, yeah, continue on. My bad. Because we bad. just got back from Kansas City, Kansas. We really enjoyed having being out there. When we enjoy. 
being back even more though. I'm telling you, I didn't Absolutely. sleep so well and sleeping in my own bed that right. night we got back. Right, 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 right. Yep. Woo! And Bye. then you get to hang out and watch the Wolf Pack tomorrow. Yeah, go pack. Come on, guys. No. Yeah, today. No, today. They're gonna be playing today. It's Friday. To, yep, that's right. So Wolf Pack's right, Wolf, Wolf Pack's gonna be playing today. Yep. Shout out uh Greenbrier. They are oh, I don't remember. Uh Statesboro. They're gonna be hosting Statesboro. <laughs> The nice. Blue Devils, so it's yes. going to be Good a luck, Greenbrier. it's going to be a tough game. I hope the coaches have brought their A game, Jody, because I'm going to be out there today. Yelling, a uh, yelling. Y'all yep. will hear yep. me. Y'all will see me. Please come support yep. your local uh, high school football team. If it's not Greenbrier, your zone for some school, just go support them. That's right. That's yeah. right. And then I'm jumping on the plane. Yeah, you are. Uh, headed to the uh, David Wells 33 Foundation uh, Golf Tournament this it's weekend be a good time. in Tampa, Florida. It's going to be a good time. Uh, in a side. Is that where? Golf Resort, I, don't I think. Know. I'm not 100%. I, I'm not either, big guy. Can't remember. Yeah. But we'll be jumping on a plane and headed to Tampa. Yeah. It's going to be a busy weekend. Can't stop, won't stop this guy right here. Yep. But we need it. to give something away. Yes, we, we didn't did. didn't give anything away last week. Nope. We didn't spin the wheel of Rectech. Nope. But we've got it out here. So, Chef John, uh, you do the honors, You want please. me to spin? Please. All right. So, there's two rules to spin in the wheel of Rectech. That's it. First rule is you have to spin it to the right-hand side. Clockwise. Second, clockwise. Mm. Second rule Excuse is you have to spin it with the utmost confidence in yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Hard as hell. There we go, baby. All right, so here we go. We're going to put it on what we want to give away. I want to give away a B380. Man, we gave away one of those on Reddit. Guys, if you don't watch us on Reddit on Wednesdays, you're really missing out. Yeah. Count me down, Jody. Three, two, one. All right, round and round it goes. Where it stops, we don't know, but we do know this is what you guys need to do. You need to go in the comment section. Shoot, yeah. You need to hashtag Rectech Lifestyle. You need to like this video. You need to share this video for your chance to win. An amazing prize that it's about to land Here on. Here we go. Let's speak right now. Oh, oh hey, Rectech yeah. sunglasses. Hey, those are exclusive. You those can't are. get those everywhere. No. Love that. No. So if you want to win a pair of free Rectech sunglasses, <clears throat> make sure you like this video, share this video, yeah. put in the comment section hashtag Recky Techy Lifestyle. Recky Techy Lifestyle. All right, Jerry, let's get it. Oh, oh, yeah, come in there, Daniel. Look at that, Daniel. Look, look at that, Daniel. Look at that simmer in there. Be careful, little buddy. So, that what you want to do is you would let it simmer like this. Uh, for, let, let the meat simmer for a little while. It's going to tenderize a little bit. It's you can go be for absolutely hours. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I would say let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour, and it's, you're going to be in the game. Jerry, you put a towel up there so it won't burn on that skateboard. Yeah. Here you go, big guy. There you go. Check that out. Get in there, Jody. Man, and if you wanted to, you could throw in um, a little bit of a slurry, like Ooh. a um, cornstarch slurry. Cornstarch and water slurry. That's it. You could thicken this bad boy up. But again, we're just doing this really fast for you guys. Oh, that smells. Yeah, amazing, right? Shoot, yeah. All right, so we're going to put a little more cheese on top. Jeez. A little green onion. A little that, a little this. Yes, sir. That's cute. That is. It looks good, right? That's cute, baby. It's just cute right there. I love cilantro. Cilantro's going on mine. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just darling? Darling! Man. And this is fun for the kids. Yeah. You can choose uh, to eat it like this. So you can kind of see what's in it. Or you can put it in a bowl. You know? Oh, I like it. Shout out to you. Whose recipe are we du we're duplicating? The Again. Yankee Yankee Cowboy. Cowboy. Shout out to you, buddy. This looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely. Shoot, yeah. All right, so I'm just digging mine through so I get a little bit of everything. Mm. There we go. And that chuck was already tender. Yeah, it is. That's that absolutely good smoke. Yeah. It's delicious. How's yours with the Cheetos? It's amazing. Mm. You get a good crunch from it. This is great. Cilantro, mm -hmm. cheese, but again, Woo. I'm gonna throw in. Woo. Let's throw in this cornstarch slurry. Let's okay. stick in that bad boy up and throw it back on. All right. Oh yeah. Throw that stuff back on, John, and we'll let that go for another hour or two. And then Sherpa, that's gonna be some. Good lunch for you tomorrow, big guy. <laughs> when you show up on a Saturday. All righty. Shoot Back in the bullseye it goes, my friend. But again, that's an amazing, super, super easy chili dish that you can do this holiday season. Yeah. I mean, it's starting to cool down now. Yeah. We're going to start getting into soups. Remember, these grills, you can do anything on them. They bake, smoke, sear, grill, dehydrate. They make chilies. They make soups. Potato soup. You make potato soup at the Kansas sure City World. Pies, cakes. Cinnamon rolls, anything you could think of, 
you're only limited by your imagination when That's it comes right, to these amazing and drills. But remember, go to rectic.com, R E C T E Q.com. Right now, we got $100 off of the RT590. Don't miss out on that amazing deal. We've got Rec Tech Fest yeah, coming baby. up October 22nd. Don't miss Ooh. out. We announced yesterday during Product Spotlight that yep. we'll be having our scratch and dent sale. I know a lot of folks were excited to yeah. hear that. Um, but uh, every Thursday leading up to Rec Tech Fest, we're going to be announcing something amazing that's going on at Rec Tech Fest. Oh, cool. Okay, so make sure you guys tune in every Thursday for Product Spotlight at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. Set your notifications that way you know when we go live, right. so you can find out about what's going on at Rec Tech that's Fest. That's right. I love that. Um, uh, make sure you follow us on all social media. Yep. Why? Because we be giving some, giving away stuff all the time. You get all free stuff. The time and free information. Yeah, that's, about, that's the main point. You know, we're industry leaders on the information. We really part. are. We really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you all got? Right. Anything else, big guy? Well, man. We're excited about the weekend. We're happy to hang out with you on a Friday. Yeah. Don't forget to follow Chef John Pinnell, Barbecue Dad Jody, BBQ D-A-D-J-O-D-Y on all social media. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Yeah, we do. And we remember, do. we got the Scratch and Dent sale. Mm -hmm. That's exciting for you guys out there. Y'all asked for it. Yes, make sure. You go ahead and take off of work yes. now for October 22nd, okay? Right. We need to see you guys showing up and yeah. showing out. Because we don't want to get the emails from you guys. Are there any scratch and dents left, Jody, after after Rec Tech Fest? Because the answer's going to be no. There's going to be hundreds of them there, y'all. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of scratch and dents. Yes. So please show up and show out. Yeah. Um, but from everybody here at the worldwide headquarters of Rec Tech, God bless you. God, God bless the United States. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you at the Rec Tech. Tech.